Hi, today's readings from Isaiah 45 talks about Yahweh, our God. It says He formed the light and created the darkness. He made the earth and formed, formed it to be lived by us. He did not create it to be chaotic. He says there's no other God except me, no saving God, no savior except me. It is so comforting and gives us hope when God says these beautiful words, turn to me and you will be saved for I am God and there is no other. It is crystal clear to me that no amount of wealth or status can satisfy my heart and give joy that can be filled only by God. St. Augustine was so true when he said, our hearts are restless until they can find rest in you. We are all called to be disciples of God. God needs our help to save souls. We are all brothers and sisters, children of God. And what's amazing is that He has given us help, our Advocate, the Holy Spirit. We must call on the name of the Holy Spirit daily with all our encounters. Let us pray for one another. I pray for all of you and your families. Please pray for mine. Also, in today's Gospel of Luke, we see Jesus heals people of diseases, afflictions, and of evil spirits. He loves us so very much. God is love. We must be able to surrender all to Him, the good and the bad, and most importantly, trust in Him. Jesus, I trust in You. Jesus, I trust in You. Jesus, I trust in You. Buenos días, hermanos. A uh, reflexión de la, del Evangelio San Lucas. Eh, Juan mandó a um, dos de sus discípulos a preguntar al Señor, si eres tú el que ha de venir o tenemos que esperar a otro. Y el Señor en ese instante curó a sordos, mudos, leprosos, resucitó muertos. Y luego dijo, vayan y cuenten a Juan lo que han visto. Los mudos hablan, los sordos escuchan, los ciegos ven, los leprosos son curados. Los muertos resucitan. Los pobres son evangelizados. Dios quiere que salgamos a evangelizar, a anunciar la palabra. Dios existe. Los milagros existen. Tenemos que ser constantes, ya que a veces Dios no escucha, nos escucha. Nosotros tenemos un corazón duro, de piedra. Tenemos el alma que no siente. Somos sordos a la palabra de Dios. Y Dios quiere que seamos unas personas de bien. Y tenemos que creer en Él, ya que hay un solo Dios y Él es nuestro Rey. Amén.